Hey y'all, this is Mike at iWearShorts.com. Today we're going to be talking about Facebook um, and their SDK for iOS. Um, if you're new to Swift, this can be kind of confusing because Facebook's documentation all is in Objective-C. So uh, this tutorial is basically for you. It's going to run you through how to log a user in uh, in Xcode in Swift uh, using the Facebook native SDK for iOS. So let's hop right to it. Um, I'm going to switch over to Xcode and I'm just going to do a new project here. And I'll drag this down so you guys can see it. Um, basically, this is going to be a single view application. We'll name this Facebook Tutorial. Uh, we'll save it in wherever you prefer. And you can see I've got my application open. So the first thing I need to do is get the SDK in there. So if you haven't been, go to developers.facebook.com, uh, go here and download the SDK. Uh, once you have it downloaded, unwrap it and put it in documents, Facebook SDK right there. Um, once you have it there, uh, I'll show you how to import it into Xcode. Make sure you have that in your background. Go to your finder, grab the libraries that you want and simply drag them into your project. Um, I'm choosing to copy. You don't have to copy the items. Um, you could keep everything in referencing the, the documents folder if you wish. I'm gonna go ahead and click finish. Once those are in there, uh, I'm going to start coding first of all. Or actually, let's, uh, let's follow their instructions. So the first thing they want you to do after you've imported your uh, frameworks is go ahead and add some things to your plist file. So in my supporting files in my project, I'm going to go into my plist. I'm going to add a row here and I'm going to name that Facebook app ID. I'm going to give it my app ID. Um, the next one is display name. So I'll add a row for that and I'll paste in the display name. And then the last one, it wants you to add something called URL types. So I'll add a row URL types. And you can see it recognizes that as a dictionary. Um, if I go down here, I actually want to select schemes instead of identifier. And then uh, drop that down to the first item. And then put this in the first item. Uh, so we'll delete that second item. Okay, so that's my plist file. The next thing it wants you to do is add your bundle identifier. You can find that by clicking on your project up here. Look under your targets. And then uh, it's just com.gsp.facebook.tutorial. So I'll just enter that in. OK, and I'll hit Next. And it zooms me down to this thing. So this is where it wants me to start uh, importing and adding in code. So in Swift, all you need to do is just copy this core kit uh, word here. And in your app delegate, just go down below UI kit and paste that in. Uh, that's all you need if you've included these libraries. You should now have access to uh, Facebook's core kit features. The next thing they want you to do is override the did finish launching with options. So we'll return this um, FBSDK application delegate dot shared instance dot application and then we want to select did finish launching with options and then we'll just pass in uh, the variables from above uh, in this case, this was launch options. Okay, the next thing they want you to do is add a new method, um, and it's applic application open URL source application annotation. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. Application open URL. I'll just select that, and we want to return uh, the FB SDK version of this, um, which is again that shared instance application select open URL here we want to drop in our application variable that we get from above our URL here um, our source application and uh, any object annotation objects uh, okay so at this point we're almost done with the app delegate the only other thing they want us to do is add this activate app function call here in application did become active so down here under application did become active 
we just want to do fb sdk um, um, let's see app and then it's events dot activate app um, and so we should be able to call that looks fine so the next thing I want to do is go switch over to my view controller here and uh, I want to add a login button so you could see in my storyboard I could uh, drag up a button here and uh, give this button a class of FB SDK button um, if I wanted to do that in my um, storyboard or I can do that in code by just doing uh, basically what they have down here uh, don't forget to import your core kit and your login kit Um, okay, so now they want us to create a login button. Uh, we're actually going to add a couple of features to this button, but really quickly we're just going to define a login button is equal to FBSDK login button, and we'll just instantiate that. Uh, login button dot center is equal to self dot view dot center, and then uh, login button dot let's see here what is the read permissions that's what we want to get so we want to give some read permissions here in this case I'm just gonna pass in that we can read your email and then uh, we'll add the uh, delegate to the view or we'll add the view so login button um, sorry self view add sub view and then login button and then the last thing we want to do if we look at the s um, if we look at the documentation here set the delegate um, they don't actually have this set as a delegate we're going to handle some events uh, as the delegate though so login button dot delegate is equal to self and you can see as soon as I do that, Swift should start complaining uh, that I don't have the SB SDK login button delegate. So let's go ahead and add that FB SDK login, login button delegate. It's a long one. Um, so I'm going to add that. And now it's complaining twice because I don't implement any of the delegate functions. So uh, let's go implement the first one, which is just we logged out. So let's just do something there. Logged out. And let's implement the next function, uh, which is did complete with result. So in this case, all I want to do is just uh, print line the result. Um, actually, we're not even going to do that. We're just going to say logged in. And uh, so those are my two. Uh, delegate functions here. The only the other thing that I want to add, um, we're sort of at the end of the Facebook documentation here. Um, we've gone ahead and added our stuff to our plist file. We've added our bundle identifier here. Um, we've altered the code a bit. And so it should work as is. The only thing I'm going to do here is add a little function uh, that just will log out some user data when we get it. So let's just do this, log user data. And then here, uh, we're going to make a graph request. So um, we're going to let graph request be equal to FB SDK graph request. And then we're going to instantiate that with a string and uh, parameters. So the, just like the other SDKs, your graph is going to be slash me and uh, the other parameters are nil in this case. So then we're going to uh, use a callback. So in Swift, we can use closures. Start with completion handler. If I go ahead and enter, in, hit enter, uh, it auto expands that, and I can start putting in my variable names here, result and error, and then if error is not nil, meaning we did get an error, uh, we're just going to print that error, 
Otherwise, we're going to print, uh, in this case, we're going to do, uh, let's go ahead and get the uh, granted permissions in this case. So uh, let's see here. Um, that should be it for this. Let's go ahead and uh, how are we going to see your information? Um, actually, let's print out the whole result. Let's see what's inside, what Facebook gives us. And uh, we're just going to set up another override method here. Um, and we're going to do view will appear. And then if the view will appear, we're going to log the user data there. Um, so if the view is going to appear, hopefully we log out some user data if, um, if Facebook has given us an access token. And I'll show you in a second how to check for some access tokens, but let's run this really quickly so you can see. Um, here you can see, uh, well, I've already logged in. Let's do a um, reset content and setting. So this is a neat little trick. Um, you can actually, in your iOS simulator, you can reset content settings for the entire simulator. Uh, and what that will do will clear anything like if you've set NS user defaults and those are usually pretty hard to clear um, or any application settings um, re Reset content and settings under simulator here will do that um, So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and build and run this for the first time and you can see uh, It makes a request. I go ahead and click login uh, to Facebook here and I'm just going to uh, enter in an email and then uh, go ahead and find my password for it and um, I'll enter that in as well and I'll confirm it and now we've logged in successfully you can see here um, we've logged in. So then if I go ahead and stop this and run it again, we should see uh, my uh, Facebook app ID here and my Facebook username pop up. So at this point, uh, what's happening is it ran view will appear uh, and I'm running log user data. It's going ahead and getting a graph request for me and logging out uh, whatever it came back with, which in this case is a Facebook ID and a username. So the only other thing I want to show you is uh, that you could actually handle some of this stuff um, in the beginning. So when your view did load, uh, you actually don't want to just show the button normally. You want to show the button if you're logged out or we don't have an access token. So there's a nice function you can actually say if FB SDK um, and then access token dot and then current access token and then you can actually check if it's not equal to nil uh, then user already has access token and uh, in this case we don't want to show the login button maybe we we'll want to do something else otherwise we want to show that login button so um, you could do something like this and now what you'd be doing is when your app first starts if we have something uh, maybe we could log that information out um, or handle it in some way and then if the user is not logged in um, of course you could present the login button in whichever view you see fit so if I go ahead and run this since I've already allowed the app and logged in I'm already logged in you can see the app starts up and it just logs out my user information twice. Once in view will appear and view did load. So um, that is it for this tutorial. If you have any more questions, please go to iwearshorts.com. Um, leave it in the comments. I'll get back to you. Uh, thanks for watching.